In this video, I'm going to create the exterior walls and place the doors. In the project browser, select top of foundation. Select architecture and walls. Select this wall, exterior vertical boards. In the top constraint, set top of plate. Choose your rectangle tool. and draw walls outside the foundation wall and uh, we're going to align them later. Hit the modify key. Pick one of the walls and verify that these blue arrows are on the outside on the exterior. I'm going to zoom in to one of these corners and I'm going to pick the Align tool. I'm going to select this reference plane here and zoom in here. I'm going to select this line between the stud wall and the plywood sheathing. I'm going to hover over this area and select Tab. Select it and lock it into place. I'm going to do the same on the west wall. Select my align tool, select this reference plane. Hover over this seam here, hit tab. Tab select here between this uh, between the stud wall and the plywood and lock it. Pick this reference plane. Tab, select this line here, lock it, select this reference plane, hit the tab key, select that line there, and lock it. I'm going to go to level one. I'm going to go to architecture and select door. I'm going to select this garage door, 16 feet by 8 feet. I'm going to hover over here. I'm going to place it at this center line here. I'm going to verify that these uh, double blue arrows are on the exterior. I'm going to go up to the north wall. Going to select another door. Select this one here, the exterior single entry half flat glass wood clad, 36 by 84. I'm going to place it here. Uh, pick the um, this reference plane here, the center, the middle one. Uh, I want the door to swing in, but I'd like it the, the hinge to be on this side. So I'm going to select these double arrows, flip it around, hit Modify twice. I'm going to go to 3D. Notice here at the bottom of my uh, siding that the uh, mud sill, the screen uh, piece of wood here is exposed. I want to bring the siding down to cover it and to cover this seam here. I'm going to zoom out, orbit around. I'm going to hover over this wall and select tab until all the walls are highlighted and I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to come down to base extension and I'm going to set this at uh, a minus zero 
feet two inches. And now if I go to the front, notice that my um, siding has been pulled down two inches and it covers the uh, mud cell. I'm going to verify that. I'm going to go back to level one and go to view. Uh, use this section tool and draw a line across here. And uh, hit into an open area to exit that command. And then I'm going to uh, double click on this balloon. I'm going to clean this area up the text. I'm going to make the text smaller. I'm going to go to uh, one quarter scale of one quarter inch equals one foot. Set the detail level to fine and set your visual style to uh, shaded and zoom in. And uh, so here's my my footing, my CMU wall, my concrete floor, my CMU wall, my mud sill, the stud wall, uh, the gypsum board here, and then I have the, here is the plywood sheathing and the siding. And notice that when I change the base extension, I set it to a minus two, that uh, this is pulled down now, and uh, it's covering the mud sill, and it's covering the seam so water can't get into the seam and seep uh, underneath the mud sill.